Good morning, lovely year sixes. Um, this is Miss Norton here. Just for those that don't know me, I am Clydesdale class teacher at Whitehorse Manor Junior. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be posting arithmetic revision daily for you. So I'm going to post 12 questions every day. Um, all you're going to need for this is a pen and paper or whiteboard and pen, whichever you have available to answer some arithmetic questions. Um, what I suggest you do, in a moment I will put up the 12 questions, I then suggest that you pause the video for 10 minutes while you work through and try and work out all the answers to the questions. After that time, you can restart the video and I will give you the answers and work through some of them with you. Okay, so here are your 12 questions for today. As usual, give yourself 10 minutes to work through these questions. So when you're ready, press pause. Have a go at all of them, number one through to number 12. And when you're ready, press resume on the video and then I'll go through all the answers with you. OK, year six, let's go through those answers for your arithmetic questions today. Number one, 965, add 100. So this one, if you just look at, you need to add 100, so you look in the hundreds column, which is the nine, you add one to that, you get 10. So essentially you get, instead of 965, you get 1065. 1065, 1065 is your answer to number one. Number two, 2.001 plus 0 0.11. The most important thing about doing this calculation is making sure that you line up your decimal point and your columns correctly. So you've got 2.001 plus zero, lining up my decimal point, 0 0.11, and then I can add a placeholder to help me. Um, check what my operation was. It's an addition, make sure you don't take it away. One plus zero is one, zero plus one is one, zero plus one is one. Bring my decimal down, two plus zero is two. So your answer for number two is 2.111. So that one should be quite straightforward as long as you remember to line everything up correctly. Number three, we have five and we have the little number three, which means we've got three dimensions. So it means we've got five multiplied by five multiplied by five. And if we do that, five times five is 25 times five is 125. So your answer for number three is 125. Okay, number four, we did a few of these before we broke up for our Easter break. So this one is 6,011 divided by 1,000. Okay, and um, what we need to look at here is the fact we're doing division. So our number has to get smaller and the fact that we're dividing by three zeros, three placeholders there, it's going to get a thousand times smaller. So at the moment, we know 6,011, our decimal point would be here, okay? Because we've got three zeros, we need to move it three places back. We're making it a thousand times smaller. So I can go one, two, three, put my decimal in here. So my new answer will be six, point zero one one okay so your answer is six point zero one one so that is your answer to number four number five you have the question 70 multiplied by 70 of course you could do 70 times 70 like this or you could realize that seven times seven i should know seven times seven from my times tables seven times 7 equals 49. To do that, I've made this calculation 10 and 100 times bigger. I've taken off two zeros. I've made it 10 times bigger, 100 times, sorry, 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller. I've done 7 times 7 to get 49. So my answer, I have to make sure I put those back on. So I have to put make it 10, 100 times bigger. So I've taken the two away, I must remember to put them back on. So my answer would be 4,900 to 70 times 70. Number six, we had a missing um, number question. You had the question that something equaled 7093 
plus 8921. So again, we had a look at some of these before. Remembering that this equal sign means that whatever is on this side must equal, must be the same as what is on this side. So whatever's in here must be the same as these two numbers added together. So to work this out, I simply have to add these two numbers together to make this equal to this, to make this the same as this. And if I add 7,093 and 8,921, I get the answer 16,014. And then that is correct. This is the same as this. This equals this. I've added these together and I get this. So your answer to number six is 16,014. Okay, number seven asked us to do a multiplication of some decimal numbers here. So we've got four multiplied by 3.04. Now to help us with this, I said, to take your decimal out and multiply it and then put it back in at the end because some people that get confused when you do this as to where the decimal might go if you have to carry numbers etc so the easiest way is just to do 304 make it 100 times bigger but remember you've done that so make it 304 taking your decimal out making it 100 times bigger multiplied by 4 and if you do that and then you can make it your answer 100 times smaller. So it's 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1. 4 times 3 is 12. Right, 1, 2, 1, 6 is not your answer because you made this 100 times bigger. So you have to remember to make it 100 times smaller and put your decimal back in. And again, like I said, that answer makes sense, doesn't it? Because 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 0 0.4 is going to be 0 0.16. But just looking at 4 times 3, you're doing 4 times 3 and a bit. So your answer is not going to be 1,216. You should remind you, oh yes, I've got to put my decimal point back in. So 4 times 3, yes, it's going to be 12 point something. So my answer is 12.16. And that was question 7. Okay, question 8 was a division question uh, 3084 divided by 6 because it is only one digit I would just do my bus stop method I would just do short division for this okay I would just I wouldn't put I wouldn't do a whole long division because it's only one digit so it's simpler just to do short division so if we have a look at this we can just do 6 into 3 0 6 into 30 goes five times nothing left over 6 into 8 goes 1 with 2 left over. 6 into 24 goes 4 times. So your answer to that <clears throat> would be 514. And of course, if you wanted to double check, you could do 514 times 6 and you should get 3084. Always good if you're doing the test and you have a little bit at the time at the end to check using the inverse. And then you know you've got some answers right. Okay, number, number nine. Okay, number nine looks relatively straightforward, but I know a lot of people get confused by these types of questions. So we've got 13, take away 10.82. The most important thing to realize when you're doing something like this is to remember that 13, it can also be written like that. 13 is the same as saying 13.00. We just don't write it like that because we haven't got anything here to add, so we just say 13. But it is the same as 13.00. And then line up what you're taking away underneath, so 10.82. Um, and remember, it's takeaway. And then in doing this, it's easier to work it out when you make this 13.00. And then, as usual, do your subtraction. So zero takeaway two, you can't do. You can't. We have to come over here make this 10 and then make this 9, make this 10. 10 take away 2 is 8, 9 take away 8 is 1, put our decimal in, 2 take away nothing is 2 and 1 take away is nothing. So our answer would be 2.18.
And as usual, we can check if we're right. We can add 2.18 onto 10.82 and we should get 13. So let's check if we've done that right. So we can add 10.82, add 2.18. If we add those together using our inverse, we should get 13. 2 and 8 is 10. 8, 1 and up 10. Carry 1, 3, 1. There you go. You would know you were absolutely correct in your answer, just using the inverse there to check your answer. So for number 9, your answer was... 2.18. Okay, <clears throat> number 10. Let's have a look. Shove this out. Number 10. Okay, number 10, we've got 24 divided by, and then we've got 10 take away 4 in brackets, and we're asked to work this out. So we've got an addition, we've got a subtraction, and we've always also got brackets. So I've got mixed operations. So hopefully you remembered to write out these very important letters that help us to work this out, bod mass. So the first one is brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. This is the way you must carry out mixed operation calculations. Whenever you see a bracket, it's the first B, bod mass, it's the first one. Brackets are always, always, always done first, okay? So the bracket is done first. 10 minus 4 is 6, and then you can carry on. 24 divided by 6, your answer would be 4. So always write these down. I think if you will remember bod mass, but remember what they mean, and then follow that order to get the calculation right. Brackets first, and then carry on, and your answer is for number 10. Okay, number 11, 8 times 5 and 1 quarter. Okay, some people like to turn these into fractions and do this, and that's absolutely fine, especially if it's not a quarter, it might be easier to do that. But probably this one, it's easier to partition because we can get a quarter of 8. So, I would do for this one, I would do 8 times 5 and 8 times a quarter and put them back together. So if I do 8 multiplied by 5, you get 40. So I've done 8 times 5, now 8 times a quarter. 8 times a quarter, you know is the same as saying, so I've written a half. 8 times a quarter is the same as saying a quarter of 8. So a quarter of eight, you can either halve it and halve it again, or you can do eight divided by four. You can do eight divided by four. Either way, a quarter of eight is two. So I've done eight times five to give me 40. And I've done eight times a quarter or a quarter of eight, the same thing, to give me two. And then I add them together. So my answer is 42, okay? For those of you that prefer to turn them into fractions. It is harder in this instance, but I'll show you that you will get the same number. So you could have done 8 over 1 multiplied by, and you could turn this into an improper fraction, and get 21 fourths, okay? And then you can multiply it across. So if you do 8 times 21, you get 168 over 4. Okay, and then if you divide how many fours are in 168 to get you your answer? 4 into 16 goes 4, 4 into 8 goes 2. You do get the same answer of 42. Um, whichever method you understand and you work with is great. I just wanted to show you that whichever way you work it out, you do get the same answer of 42. If you don't understand what I did here, but you understood the first way, don't worry about that. I just know some people in my class prefer to work it all out, changing it into fractions, and that's absolutely fine. So whichever way works for you, you get the same answer. Okay, the last question of today is a long division. So I'm immediately going to write my letters, DMSB. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And I've got the calculation, which is 3,289, and we're dividing it by 13. So I'm going to write my 13 times tables. I'm going to 
um, partition it to make it easier. So I'm going to count in tens. I think I'll stop about 70. I'm going to count in threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. I'm going to put them back together. 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78 and 91. If I need to go further, I can, but it's not worth spending too much time if you don't need to. All right, I've got everything in place. Now I can begin. 13 into 3, you can't do. 13 into 32, 1, 2. Okay, so I've divided. So now I must multiply. Every time I write a number above here, I multiply. So 2 times 13 is 26. I've multiplied, so now I must subtract. 6. I've subtracted, so now I bring down my 8. And then I go back to the beginning and I start again with my divide. <clears throat> 13 into 68. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've written a number above the line, so I must multiply. 5 times 13 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 65. I've multiplied, so now I must subtract. 8 take away 5 is 3. I've subtracted, I bring down my last 9. I go back to the beginning. 13 into 39, 1, 2, 3. Put a number above the line, so I multiply. 3 times 13 is 39. I subtract, I'm left with zero, so I know I've got to the end. So my answer for this question would be 253. And of course, you know how to check that using the inverse. 253 multiplied by 13. To know you're right, you would do that and you'd get the answer of 3,289. So your answer for number 12, 253. Okay. Those are the ones I'm going to go through today. Okay, just to clarify then, here are all the answers to today's question. Well done for attempting those. And there will be some more onto the YouTube channel and to the Year 6 weekly planning site soon. Well done.